हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज़ हार्दिक पटेल एंड आई क्रिएट वीडियोस बेस्ड ऑन माय नॉलेज अराउंड पाइथन जेंगो एंड रिलेटेड टेक्नोलॉजीज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फ्लाईवेट डिज़ाइन पैटर्न सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट सो व्हाट इज फ्लाईवेट डिज़ाइन पैटर्न सो इट्स अ स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन पैटर्न एंड मेन पर्पज ऑफ दिस डिजाइन पैटर्न इज टू रिड्यूस द मेमरी यूसेज बाय रिड्यूसिंग द नंबर ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ द प्रोग्राम so to understand this behavior of this pattern let's look at the example and then we will discuss about what are the benefits and drawbacks of this particular design pattern so this is the example where i have taken example of smartphone factory where you will have a smartphone class which is nothing but a flyweight class and uh, so how how this uh, pattern is being implemented actually so what you need here that is as much as possible you have to share the properties or share the memory so that way you can reduce the usage of memory and to do that what you will do you will make common properties for specific object and you will keep it as it is and whenever you need something complex you will use that particular common thing and then you will add additional on top of that so if you remember i mean there are lot of examples in real life as well like suppose you take an example of any food outlet where they keep some uh, few things ready right and whenever they need to make something complex they will use those common things and then make it right so that is how they they reduce their work the same way what, uh, we have taken example of smartphone here this is smartphone factory so let's look at the implementation of this two classes and then we will understand how it works okay so here is the class smartphone which takes the properties and you set it a uh, private property private uh, what can i say it's a, yeah again it's a property right so whatever information you gave for the smartphone this will be set here in self dot underscore properties okay and this is the operation function uh, basically whenever you want to add something suppose you can take an example of preparing a recipe right and while preparing the recipe you will use some common things and then you will add which is unique for that particular recipe the same way for any specific smartphone what you need suppose we are selling the smartphones here so what will be the unique you will have all the models common but owner will be different and price will be different in all the cases right so that is why we are taking this owner and price here these are additional information for the smartphone but what are the common parameters are there which are already set so that is smartphone object and this is just a representation method and let's look at the factory method now factory class so what factory class does so basically how we reutilize this classes or objects so basically we create one class property here okay and that is dic dic uh, dictionary of uh, key and value as a smartphone so object so we will store here based on properties so suppose properties are uh, there is a, like let's take an example of iphone 14 so there are three properties we are mentioning here apple is a brand name then iphone 14 is a second property then third property is suppose uh, it's a color of that or maybe fourth property is a uh, size of the memory of that particular smartphone so suppose 128 gb so those properties you have sent here and when you try to do that you will create you will first check Uh, first of all you will create a key based on those properties so suppose those four properties are there right so i am just what i am doing here i am just uh, joining by comma or you can uh, you can do also like this hyphen 
okay so once that is done you will check that key in this smartphone's dictionary if it is there then we are printing that returning already existing smartphone object for this properties or with this properties else if doesn't exist then what you will do you will create an object of the smartphone which is nothing but this flyweight class and you will add that instance in particular dictionary so next time whenever someone tries to get the similar smartphone iphone 14 with black color then you will get the same response same object but not you are not going to create the separate memory for that so that is how you are going to reutilize the memory okay so this is how you will return the object of this smartphone now this is just a uh, extra method where you will see uh, how many smartphone objects are created okay so we will check that now once we run this how we can check that it is working properly so look at this uh, what can i say it's a boilerplate floor uh, running module as a script so i am creating one instance of this factory and i am trying to get this smartphone uh, using these properties apple iphone 14 black and 128 gb so if you see here these all properties are also used in this fourth request okay so first three requests are having separate uh, instances of smartphone because all have different properties right so here i am calling this get smartphone i will get that and i will try to sell it to hardik with this price then again i am getting the smartphone which is iphone 13 then 49000 and arrow again this is third smartphone again it's a separate smartphone but now what I am doing here that arrow is coming back and wants to buy iPhone 14. So you are what you are doing here. We are trying to get smartphone with the same properties. And this time actually you should not be creating a new object because you have that object available already in memory. So to reutilize that what you will do you will try to get the same object and try to sell it. Okay. So smartphone.sell and then this time I am just changing this thing. And value is same because phone is same right and now if i'll try to list smartphones in case of other design pattern or uh, normal program what you will have is four objects of the smartphones but here as we have used this pattern flyweight pattern where we are reutilizing the objects you will be able to see only three objects because this is a reutilized version okay so now let's run the program and we will understand how it works okay so as you can see first time it was created and it was sold to Hardik with this price again created second time it was sold to Arav and this price third time also it created but the fourth time when I tried to get the same smartphone which was created earlier this time it is returning already existing smartphone object for these properties and the same smartphone I am selling to Arav with this price. Okay, so that way and now the last statement of this program that is listing out smartphones. So basically we have only three smartphones. That means three objects only. So basically we are saving the memory here. Okay, now let's look at the benefits of this pattern. So what are the, so yeah, as we already mentioned that it tries to reduce the memory uses. Okay, so major benefit of this pattern is that you will end up using less memory in your program which will increase efficiency of the program and hence you will get additional benefit of performance improvement right so those are the benefits of this design pattern now let's talk about drawbacks so drawbacks is just a simple one that is complexity and mostly you will end up making complex code and that will be more complex for new developers to understand right so this is one of the drawback and so based, so based on these drawbacks and benefits I would conclude that until you do not foresee any memory issue in your program you should avoid this pattern because it makes more complex for new developers to understand right. So this is what it is. So that's pretty much from this video. So one more thing your likes on videos helps to rank my videos higher in the YouTube. So if my video helps you in any way, please like this video and share with your IT friends. And also please subscribe the channel if you haven't done yet. 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड सी यू सून इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो